Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a skincare haul and I didn't do like a big splurge like all in once or anything. These are products that I've just found myself accumulating over the past like three months and I was like hold up I've actually got a lot of new skincare products and I definitely want to share them with you guys. So I've got a basket here full of them and even more that wouldn't fit into this basket. So it's going to be kind of long but I'll try and keep it short to each product. I just want to say a really big thank you to everybody that has subscribed because we're at 2,000 followers, subscribers and it's just it's really really nice to have you guys here and to share these products with you and of course if you enjoy skincare videos and you haven't subscribed then do down below and uh, let's just get into the video okay so to start with i'm gonna start with the things that would not fit in that basket so firstly i have these zit stickers so these are pimple patches from the brand zit sticker and these are the ones called killer they are little pimple patches that will kill your spots. Basically, it works best with whiteheads. I think you can use them on sort of red under the skin spots, but I think they're most effective with whiteheads or spots that have really come to the surface. They are little packed pimple patches that have uh, micro darts with ingredients that will penetrate into the skin. Also it comes with like these. So you get eight spot clarifying patches and eight of the cleaning swabs. It's got So it's got quite simple ingredients and um, salicylic acid and niacinamide in there that's really gonna help soothe the spots. And I have used this on one of my whiteheads. Did the job, did the job. You only need it on for about two hours, but um, you can leave it on overnight and it's the micro darts are self dissolving so they kind of just go all smooth and mushy for me because you only get eight in a pack i kind of want to save them for when i've got a really juicy spot or when you've got a spot but you've got an event to go to or it's in a really awkward place and you just want it to be like eight is not a lot and if you have acne you're probably going to get a couple of whiteheads it's a month and this can be used up so i would you know just recommend saving it for like when you really need a spot Gone. I also picked up the Zit Sticker Hyper Fade. So I got the bundle where you can get two of these and save like five to seven pounds, I think it is. So the Hyper Fade is the same sort of technology. It's a pimple patch which you pop onto an area of pigmentation. So these are dark spot clarifying patch. You get 12 micro dark patches. However, this works a bit differently because you need to use, I think it's like two in one week and you need to space them out. So you need to leave like three days. I'll put any information up, I've said it wrong there. But basically it needs to be used over a period of time. These are designed to work with pigmentation left over from spots. So not necessarily sunspots or melasma or other kinds of pigmentation. Then I also picked up the Lerish Pose Cero Zinc or Cero Zinc. And I thought I'd try it because it's um, one that was recommended by Carolyn Hirons, who is a really good esthetician and just skincare guru. And this is a zinc sulfate solution, cleansing and soothing. I've just been loving it. I can't say what results I've had for this or anything, but I've just been loving it so far. It feels refreshing. I know that I put some zinc on my skin, which also is very helpful for skin and soothing the skin. So I'm happy with that. Next up from Lush Mose is the Anfilios uh, 50 Plus Shaka Fluid. I have used the 30 and I really loved it. So I thought I'd pick up the 50 Plus and it's just, it's even better. Like the formulation is pretty much the same. This one is non-fragranced and it's just as light and lovely on the skin. So I've been loving that. And I did a video on the Shaka Fluids and a full review. If you want to see that, I will card and link it down below, but it's a really good one and I would definitely be repurchasing this. Okay, so next up from The Ordinary, I've been trying out the um, Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% plus Alpha Arbutin at 2%. I already use Alpha Arbutin to help my hyperpigmentation from The Ordinary, the same serum. And I thought in the mornings I might as well try this. So I tried it for about a week, maybe two weeks, and I like it. The, the reason I like it is because it's very light, it's oil free but it, it's it's easy to apply to the skin, it sinks into the skin, it doesn't leave a residue. Vitamin C's do not have the best smell. Like that is, that is well known. If you have a vitamin C that smells like oranges and lemons, it's probably not a proper vitamin C because proper vitamin C smells. <laughs> um, however, this one, I suppose it's only 8% as well. You've got to bear that in mind. It, it's not, it's not a bad smell. It's tolerable, tolerable. However, you do need to wash your hands and you know, be done with it but i have recently stopped using it because i was finding that it was oxidizing on my skin making uh, my some of my uh, blocked pores turn black because that's what happens when it oxidizes and that made me want to pick and get out loads of blackheads so i just avoided using this it's not bad to that's not a bad thing to happen by the way 
but it just made me want to pick up my skin which i want to avoid okay next up aloe vera gel really simple one to say it's really soothing it's really gentle sometimes if i've just i just want to take a step back in my skincare routine this is good like aloe vera gel is underrated like seriously it's soothing it's calming it's highly moisturizing and um, i love the gel formulation and i love the way it feels on my skin so yeah this is just a restock because i always have a load of aloe vera gel the nip and fab pads these are glycolic extreme pads i used to use these all the time when i was at uni i had the both like the daily one and these extreme ones they're not that extreme pads which will last me ages i also use this on my chest and my back because i do get um breakouts there my chest has been really really good for years actually like it would get the occasional spot i did have like proper chest acne when i was a teenager acne on the other hand is really not at the moment it's really really good actually but it can flare up so this is helpful so this has five percent glycolic acid um natural exfoliation refined skin texture salicylic acid to unclog the pores and lactic acid to also help it's all exfoliating essentially and it also has some mandelic acid in there but obviously not an amount for them to like mark it but either way i've been really enjoying using these again and um i will continue to i used to love some bits from simple and these were on offer so they were so cheap so basically i got the simple soothing facial toner 100 percent alcohol free and i don't know if the formula used to be alcohol free can't remember but either way it is now and this toner i used to love and it is a good toner the only thing that's like not so great is that it has witch hazel but i think it's a small amount of witch hazel otherwise surely this will be like soothing witch hazel facial toner do you know what i mean so anyway yeah i've been using that again and i already love it it's got some niacinamide in there it's got some panthenol it's really soothing and moisturizing and i think this was like one pound fifty so that is why i loved it as a student because it's cheap then i also picked up the micellar cleansing water from simple which is not something i've used before actually but i'm sure i'll get on fine with it i usually use the garnier one but again this was super cheap something i've been loving from simple is the hydrating cleansing oil oh nice 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 really nice this has grapeseed oil vitamin a vitamin e and essential fatty acids and simple as a brand there's no fragrance no color um no harsh chemicals no soap no alcohol no mineral oils the ordinary mandelic 10 percent acid okay so this acid i have not used yet i don't intend to use it anytime soon um simply because my skincare routine has its thing going on and i'm not going to try and make it super super complex so yeah this is 10 percent mandelic acid it's going to be really effective at um penetrating the skin it will help with hyperpigmentation it will help obviously exfoliate and it's a gentler uh, method even compared to like glycolic acid I did Mandelic Peels professionally with Skin Clinic, I have a video on that if you're interested and um, Mandelic Acid is just, it was effective for my skin, obviously that was a much, ooh, just sudden sunlight but um, so yeah this is a direct acid so I also need to patch test it but I'm excited to use this. Then I also picked up some things from Valida, I think it's Valida or Valida. These are the skin food moisturizers. One is the Rich, which is the original, and one is like a light formulation. So this is for dry skin, and this one is for very dry and rough skin. Again, these are like more organic and have like, you know, this kind of fragrance to it. I do like the smell, but it's definitely got like, you know, again, a load of essential extracts. It's got like lemons and lime and all these kind of things. But again, the Rich one is used under makeup by a lot of makeup artists. It's really hydrating, Carolyn Hirons approved. And the light one is better if you have oily, oilier skin. But I've not really used them on my face. I actually did use the Rich one, which was risky because I could have easily just broken out overnight. Um, but yeah, I was, up, I was absolutely fine. And um, I think I'm gonna kind of stick to this. I've been using it on my hands and my elbows and it's just really, really nice. I'll probably try the light one on my face though and see how that gets along. The Rich Cream supports the skin's protective barrier, increasing moisturization, resulting in a feeling of reduced skin tension and itchiness. Really, really moisturizer, like you feel it. And um, yeah, this one's more of a silky lotion, combines organic sunflower oil with natural extracts, um, chamomile and all these lovely things. It again is instant moisture, which is the, the key thing here if you're considering buying these. I did still stock up on my CeraVe moisturizing lotion because I love it. 
I'm in this for life now. <laughs> Packed with um, ceramides, it's got a good amount of niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. Again, your skin just feels like it's getting a drink and it's just so moisturized. I, I highly rate this and I will continue to purchase it. So lastly, I picked up Acne Side 5% over the counter pharmacy. And this is benzoyl peroxide, which this is the um, gel version. So I have the wash, which I haven't really used for a while. Gel version, now benzoyl peroxide, Benzoyl peroxide is, is literally my saviour when it comes to acne, which is good and bad because sometimes it's like, I'm you know, I'm using retinoids, I love it, it's great, da, 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 da. but benzoyl peroxide has, was the one, and you know what, I'm gonna have a whole video on it because 2016 to 2017, 2016, the end of 2016, my skin had acne, like it was acne, and it hadn't got to the point of hyperpigmentation yet, like it was just acne on the surface, Benzoyl peroxide cleared that up like fully and I'll do a video and I'll put images in that video and everything because I feel like it's often underrated that benzoyl peroxide is actually an acne fighter like it kills the bacteria that causes your acne anyway I um, started incorporating this into my skincare routine but then Dometica the treatment that I'm using has actually in my next prescription they're gonna incorporate this into my formulation so I don't really need this now but um, it's there for when I need it and um, it's a staple it's a staple so guys that completes this skincare haul i hope you guys found it interesting helpful leave me any comments if you have any questions about the products that i'm currently using or going to use and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe give it a like if you did enjoy it and i will see you guys soon bye